So, Breath of the Wild 2 is a game. A game that really needs to come out, like, right now. But, yeah, it's a game. We don't really know that much about this game, but we do know what Nintendo showed us in its teaser trailer. I always have this feeling that I am always missing something when I watch this trailer. Which is why I'm always going back and searching for something, anything that I could have missed. And, well, yesterday I found something rather interesting. What the heck is that? Alright guys, before we get into the video, I'd just like to make one thing perfectly clear. I know that there's probably someone else out there who said the same things that I'm about to say. And let's just make one thing clear. I did not steal anyone's ideas. These are conclusions that I came up with through my own observations, so... If you've seen a video or an article with the same idea, um, I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one who picked up on it, but I'm not stealing their ideas. Alright, now that that's out of the way, let's get on with the video. Alright, today we are talking about the mysterious mount we see Zelda riding. Now, if you've seen any theories about this animal on YouTube, you'll know that this is not an animal we see in Breath of the Wild. I never really gave it that much attention, because I honestly just assumed it'd be like some sort of cow or something. Until I saw this. If you look closely in this shot, you can see the animal's face. It has an enormous round mouth that could completely swallow the princess's head, but it seems to give me more of like a lizard vibe than a cow vibe, like maybe like a large lizard with horns or something. But what really made me realize that I need to make a theory about this is if you look closely, his eyes resemble a pale green color. And you know what else is pale green? The mysterious hand. One thing I notice a lot with Zelda theories is that people tend to call the strange glowing rocks luminous stones. And while I do agree that it does resemble luminous stones a lot, there are a few minor differences. But regardless of what it is, it seems that the green-blue color is connected to spirits somehow, saying with the other rocks resembling luminous stone and the same color is used for the fires around the souls of the dead, so obviously we would associate that color with spirits, but if that's the case, why does this mount seem to have green eyes? Well, at first I thought, well, Mass Penguin, of course his eyes are going to look green. There's glowing green rocks all around him. Of course his eyes are going to reflect the color. But there is another time where we see the animal's eyes. If we look closely in this shot, we can see the animal's eyes, and lo and behold, they're green. Now, yes, I know that there is some of the glowing rocks, but that's on the left side, and the eye is on the right side. And since we don't see any of the glowing rocks on the right side, we can assume that the green color is the eye's natural color. But what does this mean? Does it mean that the goddess Hylia is reincarnated as a divine beast and leading her descendant through the caves to break the curse on her family once and for all? Yeah, I don't think so. I'd like you to think of two substances, ancient energy and malice. In Breath of the Wild, we see that Malice can not only reanimate the skulls of the dead, but it can also create living beings, the Blights, or Dark Beast Ganon, or Calamity Ganon. It can sort of, like, bring them to life. And although we never see any examples of this with Breath of the Wild, in Age of Calamity, we do see Terrico, 
And even though he likely only has his personality because Zelda programmed him that way, um, he still has a personality of his own and he's still powered by ancient technology. Do you know what's red? Malice. Do you know what also is red? Din. And you know what Din has a connection to? The Triforce of Power. And you know who also has a connection to the Triforce of Power? Ganondorf. Do you know what's blue? Ancient energy. You know what also is blue? Nehru. Do you know what Nehru has a connection to? It's the Triforce. And as we all know, Zelda has a connection to the Triforce. But what about the green stuff? What is it connected to? I'd like you to think about an ancient furnace, a device that seems to be collecting ancient energy from the ground. Let's say that these green rocks aren't luminous stone, and let's say that they're some other form of energy. An energy strong enough to still work even when exposed to malice. Now, I can't really go that much into what I think this energy might be exactly without making stuff up without evidence, but I do think that this energy, like the malice and the ancient technology, can take hold of a living thing and like fuse with it, which would explain the hand, mount, and of course Link's green hand. Maybe this is an energy that only Link can use because he's connected to the Triforce of Courage. Or maybe he is, I don't know, I'm pretty sure Zelda has the entire Triforce. Anyway, I'm probably just overthinking it. But maybe, just maybe, the power to oppose Calamity Ganon really did lie dormant beneath the ground. Um, hey guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before we leave, I do want to say when I predict Breath of the Wild 2 will be getting a new trailer. And I think we're probably gonna get a new trailer sometime in February or March. I mean, we may see something at the Game Awards, but I don't really think we will. I think we'll be more around Zelda's anniversary that we'll get a trailer. Um, who knows? There may be a trailer tomorrow. Who knows? But, um... Thank you for watching, I had a lot of fun making this video. It's probably just nothing, but it really did interest me and I really did want to point it out. I'm Mess Penguin and I'll see you guys later.